Hello, welcome to SoundOp Tutorials. In this video, we will focus on operations to work with effects. SoundOp has a set of built-in effects and supports VST and VST3 effect plugins. To manage VST plugins, you can use the VST Plugins Manager. In the Plugin Manager, you can set the VST plugin folders, scan plugins, and enable or disable plugins. To scan for new plugins, click the Scan button. To rescan all plugins, click the Rescan All button. The files that failed to load when scanning is added to a blacklist. You can click the Reset Blacklist button to reset the list. After scanning, you can see all the effects in the Effects panel and the Effects menu. You can change the organization of effect on the Effects Preference page or in the Effects panel. To apply a single effect in the Audio File Editor, you can use the Effects menu. And you can set keyboard shortcuts to apply an effect. You can also double click in the effects panel to apply an effect. To add an effect to the FX rack, click the add effect button and choose an effect in the menu. And you can drag an effect from the effects panel to the FX rack. In the audio file editor, you can drag an effect to the timeline to add it to the FX rack or double-click in the Effects panel to add an effect to the FX rack. In the Multitrack Editor, you can drag an effect to a track to add it to the FX rack of the track, and drag an effect to the Clip Automation panel to add it to the FX rack of the clip. To apply an FX chain in the FX rack, you can choose an FX chain in the FX chain list, or use drag drop in the same way as dragging an effect. In the FX rack, you can edit, duplicate, remove effects with the shortcut menu and the effect item menu. And you can replace an effect by choosing an effect in the effect item menu. Or drop an effect on the effect item. And you can also double click to edit an effect. Drag the selected effects to reorder effects. Drag the selected effects to another FX rack to copy effects. Hold the control key and drag to duplicate the selected effects in the FX rack. Hold the alt key and click to remove an effect. Hold the alt key and drag to move effects between FX rack. To enable or disable all effects in the FX rack, you can switch the active state of an FX rack. If you are satisfied with the effect list in the FX rack, you can save it as an FX chain. And you can import and export a single FX chain. Or the entire list of custom FX chains. When editing an effect, you can save the current setting as a preset. and choose a preset to apply its settings. And you can import and export a single preset or the entire presets list. For VST and VST3 effects, you can also import and export in the standard format to communicate with other plugin hosts. To enable or disable an effect, you can switch the bypass and active state. For effects that support the side chain, you can switch the active state of the side chain. To enable effects such as delay and echo to generate sound after the end of a clip, you can turn on the tail option. To reduce CPU usage when playing in mix space, you can freeze a track. And freeze a clip. And you can freeze up to a specific effect in the FX rack. SoundDop supports automatic delay compensation, and you can turn on this option on the effects preference page. 
Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.